Hello and welcome to my talk about Smart Structures, a Generative Design Framework for Aesthetic Guidance and Structural Node Design. I wrote this paper together with Andy Song and Jane Berry. My name is Manuel Mühlbauer. Let me introduce you to the methodology first. We used evolutionary research, human-computer interaction, and machine learning to build an intelligent control system that responds to aesthetic references of the designer. This system works with an initial image input that is then compared to the solutions and shape comparison for direction of the search process. The other mechanism we used is online classification, which provides designer with a support during the automated phases of design, predicting the aesthetic preferences of the designer during those phases. The application in multi-scalar optimization and node design allows such a system to operate on three different levels. Structural optimization on the global scale of the structural system or the local scale of the node. And in the context of the node design on the macro level of the node itself and the microstructure inherent of the node. For the case study, the interactive node optimization was chosen as uh, the level of application of the design system, which supports creative decisions. The application in mass customization allows this active tool to support a designer in designing product components like structural nodes. The features of the generative framework hint towards the capabilities of the system during semi-automated design process. The intelligent control system is placed in the context of generative design as described by John Fraser by having a generative engine that runs the geometric uh, variety generation and an evolutionary search as optimization process. The intelligent control system adds the aesthetic guidance to the process as already described. The design space is of the node is in this context a geometric configuration that is explored interactively by adding a design reference, as you can see on the top left of the slide, and then interactively choosing design space geometries as options. The design space geometry is then populated by a fixed topology, uh, in this case a lattice that is then again translated into design elements and connected to the non-design elements that provide the connection to the structural system as defined prior to the search. The study allowed us to extend the intuitive exploration using evolutionary research. It introduced aesthetic guidance of the design space exploration in this context on the level of design space geometry. It also brought qualitative criteria to the fitness function and therefore combining performance and perception based modes of evaluation. The 3D printed physical prototype allows to demonstrate a tectonic expression on different levels defined by design space, design elements, and non-design elements. Here you can see the final prototype of a structural node. The system, in conclusion, allowed to add more flexibility to structural node design by integrating aesthetic criteria into an interactive exploration approach of design spaces. It enhanced the navigation during evolutionary search by using image input, shape comparison, and online classification. It also allowed to predict aesthetic references during phases of automation by and therefore reducing the amount of design effort necessary during interaction. For 
the future this research provides the potential of material related research here feedback about material properties can be added again to the geometric representation and the geometric representation be refined for another iteration of explorative search thank you and i'm happy to answer any questions <laughs>